Um, I'm Lori Dangler, Emeritus Professor of Geology at Humboldt State University. Um, I am here at the Weather Service office in Eureka with the Dai Shumaru. And the Dai Shumaru Maru is a tsunami boat. Uh, it is a connection between us and what happened in Japan on March 11, 2011. Uh, I've learned a lot about tsunami debris. Uh, I've certainly studied tsunamis uh, much of my adult career. Uh, but the connection of seeing something physical, of actually putting my hand on something that was in Japan, uh, a working boat on March 11, 2011, that spent three years, a little more than three years, drifting through the ocean uh, to finally beach. Uh, near Dry Lagoon in June uh, of two years ago. Uh, it is really uh, quite moving and quite extraordinary uh, because um, a boat like this is much more than someone's livelihood. Uh, it actually tells a story of its working life and it also tells a story of the tsunami uh, and it connects us uh, on both sides of the ocean uh, to an extraordinary event. Uh, in the past few years, this is not the only boat, uh, tsunami boat, that I've studied. A year before this boat beached, Camo May, a very similar boat, similar in size, even similar in color, beached near Crescent City. Uh, and Camo May also has an extraordinary story uh, because it was uh, it was a boat that was belonged to a school in Iwate Prefecture and has now connected schools on both sides of the Pacific uh, through the hard work of a group of high school students at Del Norte High School. Uh, Kemome was returned and has now become a very important symbol in Japan of both the tsunami and most importantly uh, the, of the kindness of strangers because this uh, group of high school students in Crescent City took it upon themselves, they certainly didn't have to, they didn't get any credit, uh, to clean the boat and try to return it. Now, on their own they would have had a hard time returning it, but uh, big companies, government entities, all became uh, pulled in to this wonderful story of Camo May and helped to return the boat and then that also became the subject of the children's book uh, that we released in November of last year. So in my years of retirement, uh, not quite a year now, it will be a year in August, I've, I've had a chance to step back a little on the sort of scientific side of tsunami but I've learned a whole lot more about what I call the backstory and about the people connection. And it continues to just amaze me how these objects, which uh, people who study things like this and how they become significant, they call them a social object. And a social object is something that we look at, like this boat, and we can immediately understand, yes, it's a boat. And we can look at the Japanese characters and go, yeah, okay, it probably didn't come from here. Um, and in the fact that we have this registration number right here, uh, it links it to a very specific place on the other side of the ocean. Uh, we can uh, immediately get a picture of the boat being pulled away, of being carried in the ocean, uh, of coming here, we, we all relate to this. And it turns out relating to something uh, in this way makes us more open to conversation. It makes us more open to buying things if we're trying to sell things on the internet. Uh, so a social object is, is something that really connects us, that connects people, again, on both sides of the ocean, uh, different language, different cultures. This particular boat is going to stay uh, on the north coast because uh, the people who owned it did not want it back. 
Uh, and that's the case with most of these tsunami boats. They belong to individual fishermen, fishing families, and the boat is really not of any use anymore. Uh, Camomay was different because it belonged to a public entity, to a high school, and Camomay now has a new life uh, being in museums uh, and telling again the story of what connects us across the ocean. So, uh, if you're interested in these connections, please take a look at our little boat, our little book, The Extraordinary Voyage of Camel May, or come to the Weather Service office here uh, in Eureka, and you can take a look at this social object too, and feel the connection um, between us and Japan, and realize that um, a few kind acts can really make a difference.